I'm Lizzie. I'm a performer, writer and storyteller based in Liverpool. The work I mostly create um, is site specific, sometimes outdoors, um, and that means that the work is created and performed in a specific space or specific site. Um, and this really changes the nature of the work. Um, obviously it brings it outside of a traditional theatre setting, um, but also it means that the space is just as important in the work as say the costume or the characters. So I've performed in some interesting places, um, churches, castles, graveyards, um, people's gardens, allotments, um, and on top of a skip. But something I'm really passionate about wherever the performance work takes place is the, is the story and the art of storytelling. And I think storytelling's really personal because, you know, no one person will tell the same story in the same way twice. And as well, I think I like it because I love improvisation. So just making things up on the spot, um, not being kind of hemmed in by a script that you learn and you say by heart. So there are details in the resource pack of some activities to try as new techniques for coming up with stories and new ways to engage with your surroundings to look for story inspiration. Um, so there's the setting frames, some instructions on creating those um, and also looking for story prompts um, in or outside of the house. I went for a walk in the park with my setting frame um, and kind of moved it around the environment um, until I found something that I was interested in and then paused on that thing um, and thought about how this might create a lovely rich environment uh, for a story. I also gathered some found objects as well um, to act as my storytelling prompts. So something I found particularly interesting was this kind of possibly animal burrow. It was kind of covered in moss and looked a, a little bit eerie and a little bit macabre. And that's just the kind of stories that I'm drawn to telling. But of course, follow your own intuition. Um, so I'm going to give you just a really brief example of creating a story starter um, just from using the setting frame and some story prompts that you've gathered. Many moons ago... Deep under the earth, there lived a creature so terrible, no one dared to utter its name. Hardly anyone knew of this creature's existence, and hardly anyone got to see it, for it lived so deep underground and the entrance to its cave was covered in moss. The fallen leaves from trees, seedlings and the sproutings of beautiful plants in spring. Hiding a truth so terrible, people would not use the park if they knew it. So I'll leave you now um, with more instructions in the resource pack to follow um, and I hope you really enjoy the activities and have fun doing them.